Hi, this is Sunil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna see the memmo function available in C. So if you guys want to use this function, then you guys need to include the string dot h header file. This memmo function is used to copy some specific number of characters from one array pointed by this from pointer to the two array pointed by this two pointer. And also this memmo function is used to alter the contents of this from array and I'm gonna teach you later. Okay, now we're gonna see the syntax and then you know how we can use this in our program. So this memmo function is gonna take three parameters. So one is the one is the target or the two array, you know the characters will be copied to the array pointed by this uh, two pointer and another one is the pointer to the source array you know the characters from this array will be copied to this array pointed by here in this two pointer and also this count is the number of characters from the beginning of this from array that will be copied to this two array so you know now we're gonna see how we can use this function in our program so here just for the demonstration purpose what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a integer variable called size and I'm gonna store a value of 20 in it okay the next thing that we need is two character arrays so I'm gonna call it as from which is of size um, size and next we need the two array which is also an of size size that's pretty cool huh? okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize our from array that's why I'm gonna use the st or cpy function and uh, we need to pass from here and the string so i'm gonna write learning lad rocks okay now this from array contains learning lad rocks the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the memmo function to copy copy the characters from this from array to this to array so it's gonna be mem mo and as a parameter first we need to pass the two or the target that's two here next the from which is the source and then you know uh, how many characters from the beginning of this from array to be copied to this to array so we want to copy all the contents that are in this from array to the to array that's why i'm going to specify that size here and also this memo function is going to return a pointer to this two array so, you know this two character array is available here you know that's why we're not gonna save that uh, return the pointer okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just print out the values of this from and to array I'm gonna use the put as function so it's gonna be from and uh, next put as with the parameter 2 okay I'm gonna save this one and uh, compile and run so i can see here the characters you know all the contents of this from array which is learning ladder rocks is copy to this to array okay the next thing is you know if i change this size to let's say a 10 characters you know only the 10 characters from this from array will be copied so run this so you can see here only the 10 characters okay the next thing or the main thing of this tutorial is what if this from and two pointers here are gonna point to the same array so which is nothing but memo with from and from so here this memo function is gonna copy the characters from this from array and it's gonna place that in that same array you know that's why it's gonna alter that array so here for the demonstration purpose let me see whether I can draw this okay let's assume that this is the from array which contains the string learning space lad space rocks and you know this is just to indicate that that's the end of the string which is you know automatically added okay now if i copy this learning space lad space rocks and place it in this same array you know the copy will take place but you know the contents will not be altered so just for the demonstration purpose what i'm gonna do is i want this from array to be modified and only contain lad rocks so for that purpose we're gonna use this memmo function in this tutorial and also when we created this from character array 
and as in the string learning lad rocks you know this from is gonna point to this character l or this from is gonna contain the address of the first character of the string that's why here you know the from will point to this l here so now what uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna make this from to contain only this lad rocks for that purpose we're gonna copy this lad rocks to this own array using the mem move function so to do that we need to get the address of this letter l here that's why what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some numbers to this from array so that i can uh, access this character l so here this from is gonna point to this l in the beginning if i wanted this from to point to here then we need to add some offset so now if i want this from to point to this l then i'm gonna add a value of nine because you know one two three four five six seven eight nine so from plus nine it's gonna point to this character l here and you know when we use this memo function and uh, copy this lad rocks to this same array you now all this contents learning will be removed and as and it only contains lad rocks i'll be adding that it's gonna be from plus nine so leave all the things as it is and also you know i'm gonna remove this two here no we're not using that now okay compile and run so you can see here the from array is now altered or you know you know the contents of the from array are shifted okay this is it guys this is about the memo function which is used to copy the contents from one array to another and also you know used to alter the contents of the same array so that's it guys thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and also if you guys have any doubt uh, don't hesitate to put a comment under that video i'll see you in the next tutorial